Hi there and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a flip of my Moterm um, pocket rings in the black color. It is really, really chunky. Um, so shortly after I posted the white one, because that's the one that I was in for a really long time, I switched over to like a fall Halloween-y type of vibe and I'm kind of excited about how this turned out. If you watched the last video, you might notice that some of the same inserts are being used because those are the ones that I'm still using. So um, if you're not familiar with Moterm, this is the Versa one, which means that it has this little insert that can be pulled all the way out. Um, so it's like a planner in itself, but you have this extra cover, which comes with this um, back pocket. It comes with some pockets here and credit card slots if you're using this as a wallet, which it's the perfect size for that. Um, and then you can carry this part separately if you'd like to. I am still using it all together because I've taken my credit card and my driver's license out right now, but that is something that I um, use this for because it's a perfect on the go. So let me get started with everything that's on the inside. This is the same as last time. I just keep um, some sticky notes in here. And sorry if I'm holding things weird. I painted my nails and it's not quite dry because I realized they were pretty atrocious. Not that great right now still, but I have some Bare Necessities stickers here. I really like using this. I'll show you in a second, but um, I really like using these on my monthly um, view because I color code things and um, different symbols and different colors mean different things in my planner. I mentioned that last time. I have a bunch of stickers from the Honey Bee Shop back here and I also have um, Her Name is Savvy stickers and die cuts here if I want to change things up a little bit. Then on the inside over here I have a die cut. This is available in my shop right now. It's a really cute one. has some goth stars back there and a little girl. Um, with her long stockings and a cup of coffee with her journal and pen. So I thought this looked really cute with this um, Villa Beautiful um, bow clip. And then these dividers are by me. I have this from Her Name is Savvy. I thought this was so cute with this pumpkin. Um, so if you don't know already, Halloween isn't my favorite holiday. I love getting dressed up. I love like Halloweens and family costumes and things like that. To be honest, um, scary stuff is kind of not my thing. So um, I have some things in here, but it's not like a super gothy, vampy kind of feel. Um, so this, I love this rainbow because I feel like this is totally me. Like I like bats and pumpkins and stars, but I also love rainbows. Then I have this, this is um, something that I just made for myself, but this was a digital that I had in my shop. And then this is from the Powder World. This is very similar from last time. This is from Bare Necessities. And then back here I have, this is from Her Name is Savvy. This is also a die cut that's in my shop. Although I cut this one out a little bit bigger to be in here. And then these are some of the same inserts that I had. Um, I have this from Pixie Dust um, 03, I think. I will tag her Instagram in the shop. She sells off of her Instagram, so um, super, super cute. And then I have some cute little die cuts from Her Name is Savvy, and then this like hollow paper that I've had in a lot of my setups. I downloaded these um, Nightmare Before Christmas um, inserts, and these are from Annie Plans. So I just kind of um, put the the little font here, which I think kind of helps me. And I labeled the top of these inserts, like important dates, personal tasks, all that kind of stuff. So I have these um, inbox um, inserts, and then I have this. This is something that I made. I have this vinyl available in my shop, as well as Drink Up Witches. I thought that was really cute. And then I have this, um, these bow tabs, I get asked a lot of questions, but they were, I don't know when this was from, but it was definitely a long time ago because I've had these um, dividers for a really long time, but they're bow tab seals from Simply Gilded. And then I laminated some paper and I cut them down to size. And then I have this inbox, which um, is also from that same shop, Pixie, Pixie Dust um, 03, I think. You'll see. So it's the same one from the my last insert. I still kind of like it. It's a little whimsical. I love um, the rainbows and just the font and everything. So I have that. These are dividers from my shop. This is a digital made for myself. 
Ah, and they're all getting stuck. I think I have to change to 30 millimeter rings. I've been thinking about it because I have an extra from my Pele Studio and um, I'm thinking about changing it over. Then I have this little die cut that says Autumn Leaves Pumpkin Please. I think that's so cute. This is still available in my shop. And then the monthly overview. This is from Cloth and Paper. And um, so these inserts were supposed to be printed like side by side. So the monthly overview would be next to the calendar, but I kind of needed more space for things on some months. So I printed them one on a page on purpose, but I have these dots that I was telling you about from Bare Necessities. And I felt like that was a good way for me to color code right when I open up my planner, I can tell right away because I use the same thing for the rest of the year. Um, these are like folder pick updates for me. So I have to, we're teaching virtually right now, but I still have to drop off things for my first grader. So um, when I see these, I know right away that those are folder pick updates. I know that these are staff meetings and then you'll see that throughout every single month, I'll have that. Then I put a little post-it in here. And then if I need a little more description or reminders, I can kind of um, correlate which date goes with what. So I have that. Um, and then more monthly overview. This is for the next month, which we're going into. I love this little, um, I don't know what you call it. I guess it's like a divider tab from Fox and Pip. I just got this in right now. And then I have the monthly overview section. So that's just kind of what it looks like. And I also use the little strips to kind of block off vacations or days that I'm not working. And then I have this, this is available as a die cut in my shop as well, with this really pretty patterned paper that I um, glued on the back of this and then I laminated it. I have this from Her Name is Savvy, another little dashboard that I have available in my shop. But I love this, this is a vampire kiss. This is from Villa Beautiful. Actually, this is upside down, you'll see the tab right, tag right here, but it's because I really wanted this to go with this so i flipped it upside down i think it's okay this is velvety smooth like beautiful paper um she sells dashboards sometimes and i love it i have hey there pumpkin this is just a digital that i made and then over here we enter the today section so the today section is um, whenever i feel like i'm gonna have a busy day i usually will open it up i'll put the date at the top and then list all the things that i want to do and then if I can't get everything done, the three most important things that I need to do, and this kind of helps me to mainstream and um, figure out, like prioritize my tasks, I guess you would say. And then I have this, which has been in a lot of my setups. And then I have, we get a glance. And so on these inserts, this is like really ugly. You can kind of see. <laughs> so I have really just, chicken scratch handwriting on here and it kind of goes through and it tells me the things that I need to do for the day. Usually I will transfer things over from here into my today section. So um, for the week, if I know I have something like hair appointment or something like that, so I'll write this out for the week and I just jot down any notes with um, hours, dates, times, and all that. And then when I go to do my today section over here, then I will look back at here and then I can list out more of what I need to do and it lets me plan a little bit more. And that's the system that's been working really, really well for me. Then I have this, it's just a digital that I made. I have nail polish on my hands, I just realized. <laughs> and then I have tasks. I put, put, printed this on some vellum. I love this. I love this art, I think it's so pretty. And then again, this is from Rose Colored Days and one of the bow tabs from Simply Gilded. This is my tasks and things to do um, section. Um, I usually rip it out as soon as I'm done. So I don't like sitting here with a bunch of, I mean, it bulks up your inserts as well. So I think that's the difficult thing when you start planning. I don't know what to do. I didn't know what to do with all the inserts that I had. Um, do I keep it? Do I trash them? And the thing that I really love about printables, um, Annie Plans and this, shops like this is that you can just throw it away and print new ones. Um, I do keep my like memory planning ones, but nothing in here is memory planning at all. So I don't feel attached to any of the pages because they're not beautifully stickered. I do have a memory planner, which I plan to share in the future, but for this one, there's nothing that I'm really attached to. So when I'm done, I just rip it out and I throw it out. I've seen a lot of people cut their inserts. It's another extra step for me that I usually don't think to do, but um, when you cut the insert, I know 
Rosie from Rosie's Planners does this a lot. Um, you can just kind of peel the pages out too without having to like forcefully yank. But I love this for tasks and things to do and um, like scratch paper even. I have Have a Good Day. This is also something I just made for myself and a little paper clip from Villa Beautiful. Um, these little sticky notes are from Cloth and Paper. It's the linen one that looks like this from the most recent um, planner box. I think it's so pretty. Like this gray color will go with everything all year long. I have the grocery shopping list. Same for this. It's never filled in because when I have a shopping list, I will write on it. I rip that paper out and I take it into the store with me. So it's never ever filled in because I don't keep my shopping list in here. And then I have this next section, which says sweater weather. You can tell the pages are getting super stuck. Um, and this back section here are my habit trackers. So trying to sleep before 12 a.m., trying to take pro probiotics every day, my royal jelly, um, tracking some water intake, <laughs> trying to clean my desk, which is never successful, as you can tell, and then doing skincare. I'm trying to be better because I've been getting a lot of breakouts. And then I cut down some um, Sparkly Paper Co. paper down here. I love the small dotted grids, which I haven't been able to find. And it's kind of hard because it won't pick up on camera, but it's like an ombre um, rainbow dots, which I really, really like. And the paper is very thin, so I can stick that back here. I have just another dashboard here. And then I have this from Cat Espresso Co. It has more of my Grumpy Bear um, stickers as, long, as well as um, some VB stickers any of like the clear transparent stickers, everybody has it, you guys. Um, I have some available in my shop as well. And um, these are just the best for marking things down really quickly so that I don't have to star items. So that's what I have in here. Back here I have another cloth and paper, just um, a sticky note with a bow. A pumpkin bow this is so cute from Her Name is Savvy. I have Peony's Papery here and Bare Necessities. And then I have this task card from Maddie Plans. I think I've mentioned this before, but I honestly don't know what it's for. It's just pretty, so I keep it in here. It's like the AM routine, PM routine, and weekend. I don't really use task cards, to be honest. That's purely aesthetic. <laughs> that must be like the only thing in here that's for aesthetics because this planner has been my most used planner of all time. And then I have some Sparkly Paper Co. Um, stickers up here as well. So that is it. I usually keep the Honey Bee Shop stencils. I think I've shown you before, but I have this that I did. So I hand lettered this and then these stencils um, are in here. I was using it for something else, but any of the little stars that you can see, you can color in the stars and create check boxes. And it came in one of her um, sub boxes. I don't know if she has those a la carte, but those are amazing. So hope you guys enjoyed my fall slash Halloween flip. I think I'm more excited to move into winter, although we don't really get winter in California or Southern California, but I'm excited for my winter planner to come in and um, come together because I've already started on that one already. So that's a quick, quick flip of my Halloween planner in my Moterm Versa pocket rings. Hope you guys are having a good week. Talk to you next time. Bye.